All right, guys, Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is coming soon, and the rapture is imminent, and uh, waiting for the trumpet call of God. Most definitely, guys, um, you know, as those that, that know me and um, we're part of that body of Christ, um, explained in Revelation chapter 12, verses 10 to 12, the part of the body of Christ in the last days that we'll be getting afflicted. Most definitely. And I didn't even know I was going to get afflicted, guys, until January came and I gave my life on to the Lord after the Spirit approached me and that uh and it almost uh made me it almost costed my life guys after this spirit but uh that night um I exposed it through the word of God and then I found out that Jesus lives and that we are in the last days when uh the Lord took me to Matthew chapter 24 verses 4 to 5 that says watch out that no one deceives you for many will come in my name claiming I am he and then from there on I gave my life on to the Lord and I've been afflicted ever since. So I've been uh, getting afflicted since uh, for since January. So that's going to be uh, ten and a half months now, preaching the gospel. How, you know, we're in the last days, the last hours. So um, most definitely, I just you know, it, it's it's uh, it's hectic. It's, it's exciting for me because I'm you know I'm seeing reality. I know about the coming of the Lord Jesus. But it's a little bit, um, I feel a little bit lonely because um, because no one's going to believe me. And in the teachings of the Lord, you know, that tells us that even if someone rises from the dead, no one's going to believe you. As Jesus taught, you know, when Lazarus and the, the rich guy, you know, went to hell and all of that. So just kind of like that. And uh, But there is a member in the, in the part of the body of Christ. Um, her name is Angela of Victory. She is going through the same things that I'm going through. Most definitely, this part of the body of Christ, like I said, is scattered, and uh, and I think there's also another part of the body of Christ. He's in Puerto Rico, also. His his name is Almighty. He's going through the same types of oppression. So this part of the body of Christ is scattered, guys. It's scattered, and uh, and we see real afflictions as being prophesied in Revelation chapter 12, verses 10 to 12. We see real active devil. Um, we live in misery, guys, and misery, it's abominable. Everything that the, the Word of God explains is is very right in front of our eyes, guys. But, like I said, you know, we shrink it unto death, so God does not show favoritism. It is by faith that you are saved. We have no advantage over another part of the body of Christ except that we see reality, but we have to shrink unto death. So our life is not normal, most definitely. That's why I would say, you know, this part of the body of Christ that is very delicate, very special unto the Lord because of the afflictions and the devil following me everywhere I go, most definitely. Uh, we're in the last hours, guys. So, yes, most definitely. The devil's right behind me, you know, just watching me um, post this video. Um, most definitely, guys. And uh, <laughs> so every time I post a video, I sound like I'm normal, that nothing's going on and all of this and that. But the word of God says that Jesus says that... Um, this adulterous generation acts as for a sign, but none will be given. Most definitely. It is by faith, guys. Faith is a reward. Hallelujah. We walk by faith and not by sight, nor by emotions. And, uh, and like I said, you know, <laughs> like earlier today, you know, the devil just, I'm just laying there, you know, um, laying in my bed. That's the only time that God gives me a little bit of a break. You know, the devil comes and he starts burning my chest, you know, right? Starts burning my chest severely. It was crazy. I'm like, wow, you know, but I'm, but I know, I know that Jesus has the sharp double-edged sword and the Lord is not going to make me go through something that I cannot bear. But this is just the filth and the lawlessness that is being committed towards this part, this part of the body of Christ, most definitely. And uh, and the devil knows that his time is short. That's why he is furious. And uh, Revelation chapter 12, verses 12, you know, woe to the earth and the sea because the devil has gone down to you. He is filled with fury because he knows that his time is short. So uh, I already see myself, you know, I already have, I don't know. I, um, I really don't look at the subscriptions that I have and stuff. I see that I have like 20, 26, 27. I'm like, oh, praise the name of the Lord, you know. Those who want to stay updated, you know, about what's 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 going on in this part of the body of Christ, most definitely, um, 
where we're getting afflicted severely. I'm getting afflicted severely, like that of a Chucky movie, Supernatural, guys. I never thought this existed. I never thought that I would be going through this. But I am so glad that I have found that Jesus and um, or else I would have perished in my affliction. Most definitely I would have perished with, like I said, the spirit, you know, that approached me real strong presence. Um, I would have never known what it was and I would have probably committed suicide or killed someone. Most definitely. So, guys. So hang in there. Hang tight. We're almost out of here. The rapture is imminent. We are about to go to heaven very soon. Um, in a flash, in a twinkling of an eye, we shall be changed. And then, that saying, um, death has been swallowed up in victory. World death is thy victory. World death is thy sting. The sting of death is sin, guys. I cannot wait for that moment. I am not ashamed of the gospel, guys. And, uh, and we're just waiting patiently. I don't care how long it takes, but we know it's near from Matthew chapter 24 from the parable of the fig tree. When you see all these things happening, most definitely, you know that it is near right at the door. Truly, I tell you, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Immediately after the distress of those days, the sun will be dark and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the skies and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. Then will appear the sign of the Son of Man. Woo! I can't wait, guys. God bless you guys. Hang in there. Angela, uh, victory. God bless you. This part of the body of Christ is being afflicted. Um, along with Angela, victory. She's uh, she's also getting afflicted, too. She lives um, she lives in Texas. I live in Pennsylvania. All right, guys. Well, um, God bless you. Have a good night. And take care of yourselves. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen.